So when hard times hit, remember you in competition. So when hard times hit and hard times are about to start hitting harder. When these times hit such as drought or an ice age or global warming, the more equipped and intelligent species were able to survive long enough and still be able to reproduce and pass on these advanced genes to the next generation. It's a, it's a form. That's how evolution, evolution works. These at certain junctures of time, it got to be hard time so we can squeeze out and see who has the genetics. We got to see, become more powerful. It's like boot camp for the Green Berets or for the Navy SEALs. If it's, if it's nothing but eating cupcakes and passing gas, anybody could be a freaking Navy SEAL. But can we throw you in, in, in the ocean, four miles out into the sea during a freaking storm? And can you swim back? <laughs> can you do that? Most people ain't nowhere near signing up for that. But the ones that make it, oh my God, that's, a, that's, that's the real deal. The race is not to the strong, the swift, but those who endure to the end. So that's letting you know it's supposed to be hard times. Hard times ain't a bad thing. Nature is about competition, right or wrong. That's why I tell you all that stupid stuff they teach you in the media and all this stuff. They're trying to get our kids to be soft and cooperative. Nature is about competition. You better step up to your power. Species that were more, that were not resilient or intelligent enough slowly died out this is what happened with your neanderthals humans came in and started to migrate out of africa into europe and asia and pretty much that was it for the neanderthals that's new researchers finding that out they they, they didn't want to uncover it because then you start to ask damn who are the ones coming from africa that annihilated the neanderthals Huh? Who was that? So, so that's how that's what happened. Well, so when the humans came in and started to migrate, and those were the beta males that came out of Africa. Those are the ones that booted out of Africa. So those are the ones that came and pretty much annihilated, genetically annihilated the Neanderthal. Pretty much how they did it was all the women say, these fools are dying. <laughs> they don't know nothing about how to hunt. All of the women came over with the human modern males into made it right and this what gave birth to the modern day asians and europeans this is why they still have traces of neanderthal genes the women go where the where the fire is where the heat is where the food is where the music is where the jewelry is all that came out of Africa. Neanderthals didn't know anything about that. Watch the movie, The Croods. Watch the movie, The Croods. It's a cartoon. It's very entertaining. It's, it's family oriented. Oriented. It's not gonna be a bunch of gay crap and feminist crap, political stuff. It's straight entertainment, but it's telling you the truth about what happened when humans met the Neanderthals. So individuals who have a lot of Neanderthal genes still have a secret deep genetic hate for the original man. <laughs> anyway, species were not resilient or intelligent enough slowly died out. They couldn't, they didn't have the advanced planning skills to, to, to uh, launch an ambush, right? They didn't have, ambush meaning for hunting tactics. They had to become more strategic. You had to learn how to save. You had to learn, learn how to communicate without talking, using signs and things of this nature. Right? So, Neanderthals, Cro-Magnon Man, these are all different forms, different versions. Uh, Java Man, also known as Homo erectus, and Homo habilis are no more. These facts are common scientific knowledge. However, feel free to do your own research. Like I always say, don't believe me, check it out for yourself. My brother, Dr. Umar, spoke upon it. Absolutely. He speaks a lot of actual facts. They stopped putting him on shows. I said, this dude right here. Anyway, 
All these facts tie into the concept of Zion, also known as what? 2012. And the new age that is coming to the planet. Earth is being healed, cleansed, and raised to a higher vibration. This also speaks to what I'm, I'm going to build on too. I'm in the members area. I already told you it's a new devil. It's all about the harlot spirit, right? Only ones that make it are those people don't, who don't fall victim to the harlot or the Jezebel spirit. They say a harlot rides the beast. So she's guiding and directing the beast, right? This is this, it's a feminine Luciferian energy. That's what's on, on the scene right now. So they say new devil, new level. Or a new level, there's a new devil, just like a video game. Or each different levels is different opponents. Well, also, as you reach a new level, you also get upgraded. Okay? So just as there's a new devil, there needs to be a new God. Birth within you. You have to put online a new aspect of your divinity. A new level of your divinity in order to...